Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel, Engineer's Choice Tutor. So in today's lecture, we are going to see about the introduction to programming language. So the point here is what we have to cover today about the programming language. So we are starting the series and in this series we will see what? We will see a core Java. Okay, what is core Java and what are the different concepts present in core Java? But before starting this, you know, you should know about programming language. As you know that Java is a programming language, but what exactly the programming language is? Or what is the need of programming language? You all need to know these things first before learning the Java programming language, right? So let's understand the term programming language by the help of examples. Okay, so suppose there are two persons and they want to communicate with each other. The person one is Naveen and the person two is what Darshini. What they want? They want to communicate with each other. In order to communicate, they should know a common language what they should know the common language the prop but the problem here is Naveen only knows Hindi language Naveen only knows Hindi language okay and Darshani only knows Kannada language okay so is it possible for them to communicate and the answer is no it is not possible to communicate because they both know different languages they don't know common language and if they don't know the common language how they can interact with each other how they can communicate with each other okay but they are eager to talk with each other so in order to perform communication they have to arrange one person they have to arrange one person right who knows both the languages Hindi and Kannada that person is called what translator or interpreter okay this much is clear now let's see so we are going to see about the role of translator or interpreter in real life so that you know let's see now Naveen is there who knows Hindi and Darshani is there who knows Kannada there is one more person between them and this person is what translator and he, he is what his name is Srikant and he knows Hindi and Kannada both the languages so that if Naveen will say anything in Hindi Naveen will say anything in Hindi okay then this translator then this translator will translate and pass the message to Darshani and pass the message to what Darshani am I right in which language in Kannada language and if Darshani will say something if Darshani will say something then he will who will translator will convey the message to Naveen convey the message to what Naveen in which language in Hindi language right after translation so in this case both can communicate with each other by the help of what translator so this is just an example to explain the role of what explain the role of translator I hope this much is clear explain the role of translator fine now let's see the next concept now let's come to technical explanation okay now let's see how a programmer can interact with system or computer or a machine so see Naveen knows the English language and he wants to communicate with machine machine means our computer okay right this is a machine so Naveen wants to communicate with machine the machine only knows binary language that thing you also know that machine only knows what binary language and Naveen only knows English language so in this case direct communication is not possible again again we have to go for translation concept am I right before going to translation concept Naveen should learn any of the high level languages like C C++ and Java okay so the first thing is Naveen should learn Naveen should learn any one of the high languages like C, C++ and Java in order to communicate with machine 
Now suppose Naveen learned C programming language. Okay. That is the reason Naveen become what a programmer now because he knows C programming language. So now Naveen is a programmer because he knows C programming language. Now Naveen wants to pass two number and want some of the two numbers as output. Okay. So for this requirement, he needs to write a code in C language and his code will be called as source code. So Naveen means programmer will use the C language and he will write one code. Okay. And this code is called as what source code. Okay, this code is called as what source code it is a simple C language code in which we are what we are doing we are adding up two number and we are printing the output of that two number just this much okay we are not doing any extra activity here we are just uh, taking two numbers and we are um, what we are doing we are adding that two number and we are showing on the console okay so this is what I call a source code now Compiler. Now, compiler, which is basically a computer software translator, okay. So, what it will do? It will translate source code which is written in high level language like C here, okay, which is written in high level language like C into into what? Into a set of machine language instructions. Into a set of what? Machine language instructions. So what this compiler will do? It will generate binary equivalent. It will generate a binary equivalent code for source code, which is written by the programmer. Okay, this much is clear. Now this binary equivalent will act as an input to our machine. Will act as an input to our machine. Okay and you will get the output as the sum of two number which is what here 50 right because 20 plus 30 is equal to what 50 a a was what 20 b was what 30 so we are printing the a plus b okay uh, the code was like c is equal to a plus b and we were printing what c so a plus b become what 50 so you are printing this so you will get the output as what 50 okay so you can say compiler this compiler acts as a what here acts as a translator between the programmer and the machine so this is all about what a programming language you can say that using a programming language a programmer can give instructions to computer to perform specific tasks right i'm repeating once again you can say that using programming language a programmer can give instructions to computer to perform a specific tasks right so in the next lecture we will see about the computer system so thanks for your time and patience please subscribe our channel for further updates